Once upon a time, there was a young girl who was treated as a servant in her own home by her wicked step family. Then one day, she met her fairy godmother, who sent her to a ball where she met the prince. Sadly, she had to leave at midnight because the magic was going to wear off. Luckily for her, she ended up leaving a shoe behind. The prince searched day and night. Then one day, he finally found the girl who fit the glass slipper. After that, they lived happily ever after. Wait. Oh, it was upset. Oh, well, kind of. While this may seem like the perfect fairy tale, the story isn't actually all that happy or accurate. Cindy, or as you may know her, Cinderella is actually the villain of her story. I know, shocking. I bet you also didn't know that Prince Charming wasn't even looking for a bride. He just wanted to return her shoe because, well, he's a nice guy. Before we say too much, all the other characters are really mad at Cindy for how she portrayed them in her story. They've all gathered to talk to Fairy Godmother about it. What's going on? What's the problem? Um, well, it's kind of about Cindy. What about her? Oh, well, she, um... She uh, ruined our life. Okay. Yeah. What? You guys know I don't tolerate gossip, especially about my precious Cindy. That girl? That girl made me look like a villain and turned my beautiful daughters into evil stepsisters. My poor Daisy was so embarrassed. She ran away. I haven't heard from her for almost an hour. And I'm so worried. You still have me, Mom. But yeah, she made me seem like a villain. I am not a villain. I was just trying to help her half the time. And that whole thing about calling her Cinderella, that's a childhood nickname. We've literally been using it for years. Ugh, well, that can't be right. Does, does anybody else feel this way or is it just y'all? Well, I wasn't portrayed as a villain, but I'm still, you know, being forced to marry her. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> no, you're not. You danced her at the ball. You kissed her hand. You, you brought her back her shoe. True love, dingus. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, no, that's that's not how it went at all. Yes, we did dance at the ball, and I may have given her a kiss on the hand, but that's what princes do. I mean, come on, people. I was just trying to do the right thing and return her shoe because it looked pretty expensive. Okay, okay. But that doesn't explain how you're being forced into marriage long story short the fairy press took a picture of me returning her shoe and they just ran with a story about how we were getting engaged and cindy believed it and me being a prince i just can't completely say you know it's not true and ruin her life and my dearest mother she wants me to marry soon anyway, so she was pretty much on board, and no one ever asked me what I want. Okay, guys. Um, let us all remember that at the end of the day, these are all just stories. They're just stories. Oh, yeah? Wait till you yeah. hear what she did to you. <laughs> I'm her dear godmother. How could that not be accurate? She's turned you into an old lady who does magic tricks with squash. <gasps> yeah, and she said her outfit was defective. Her dress was two sizes too small, and her shoes were uncomfortable. Blah, blah, don't, blah. Don't get me started on what she said about the animals you used, and that her shoe fell off. Yeah, what is that about, by the way? I thought it was a perfect fit. Never mind that. <sighs> That child, doesn't she know that I'm the most sought after fairy godmother in the whole enchanted forest? Apparently she didn't get that memo. Now you yes, see our problem. Go. Yes, we have to do something. We cannot let that, that ungrateful brat <gasps> can even spread lies about us or run this kingdom. 
I completely agree. While we may not all be perfect, we do not deserve to have lies spread about us. Yeah. So, what are we going to do? Um, we could have a press conference or maybe an intervention. Mm -hmm. Or a sentencing. Oh. That's a bit much. But I'm going to organize a meeting right now, guys. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Sounds good. All right. See y'all later. I said they off with her head, but whatever. Two hours later, and Cindy finally read the email. Let's just say she was pretty shocked. I have no clue why she was shocked, but she was shocked. <gasps> what is this? So they want to talk to me about my place and my kingdom? Well, they think they can get rid of me? They are so wrong. Oh. Hey, Cindy, can you tell us more about what's on me now? None of your business. Okay, we'll catch up later. Everyone else was anxiously waiting for Cindy to show up at the meeting place later that same day. Ironically enough, they were meeting on the terrace overlooking the palace steps. Oh, I'm so nervous. She throws her other shoe at me. I'm down. You're a prince. She can't really hurt you. Okay, but she's still crazy. Oh, shush. Lady Tremaine, where is Anna? Oh, she went to try and get my other daughter Daisy to come back to let her know what's about to go down. A trip down the stairs, and now she's in the recovery. Anna. Anna. Oh, forget all about that. What, what is taking that child so long? It's already 11.36. Mm. She was never good with time. Howdy, y'all. I'm so sorry I'm late. I rescued a baby chicken who blew his coop on the way here. Poor little fella. Ma'am, your kingly fried chicken was left in the carriage. <gasps> the gas. Mm. Yeah. But clutch. Cut the act. You're from the northern enchanted of forest. Uh, whatever do y'all mean? Ugh, whatever. Let's just get on with this. Of course. I wouldn't want to take any more time away from y'all's busy lives. Hi, honey baby boo boo bear. Uh, hi, my little pumpkin blossom. Yuck. Ugh. <clears throat> I mean, oh. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Everyone, please take your seats. I'm looking at you, Squash Flower. We have much to discuss with you. He <laughs> said pumpkin blossom. But of course, I always respect my elders. Now it has come to our attention that you have been spreading lies about us in your story. I personally wouldn't say they were lies. I just told how I saw things. I object. Sit down. We're not here to yell at you or anything like that. We just want you to come forward with your wrong story and tell everyone the actual truth. Yeah, and um, you know, maybe, I don't know, not marry me, you know? And apologize. Just, uh, just, uh, and apologize and make me not look like a villain. I was always nice to you. What happened to that sweet little girl? Well, that sweet little girl grew up. She knew that the only way she was going to make it in this world was to look out for herself. And that's precisely what she did. I do not see the problem here. You, do? <laughs> you don't see the problem, my dear? Your story is completely wrong. You ruined all these people's lives and you don't see the problem? What is wrong with my story? <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Lady Tremaine, you can start. Thank you. First of all, I am your real mother. Why would you call me your stepmother? An evil one, no less. Well, it made for a good backstory. Not your turn, Gord Bloom. Pumpkin Blossom. And it's the truth. It's fine. 
I have two other daughters who, and a cat who still love me. Listen, Lucy is a flea-covered bag of tuna. She ate all of my best friends. <laughs> Are you talking about those mice? That's what she's trained to do. She's meant to eat vermin. Those rats carry the plague. They killed your father. Just as you've destroyed this family with your lies. Do you even know what's happened to your sisters? And I see you've decided, finally decided to drop your little set and bail act. Whatever. That's not important. And they're not invited to the wedding anyways. What? There will be no wedding. What's that supposed to mean? You proposed! You got down on one knee and everything. Okay, okay. Pause. Because I wasn't holding a ring, woman. I was holding your shoe. Detailed details. I'm supposed to be a princess. I did everything right. Create a tragic backstory, manipulated and cheated my way into the arms of a prince. I did the work. Now I want my happy ending! You're not a princess. You're not a princess. princess. And um, it's after 12 anyways. Whatever. Guards, seize them. They have brainwashed the prince. Keep him in his chambers until the day of the wedding. Enough! Cindy, sit down and be quiet. Whew, this was supposed to be a calm gathering. We're not here to bash you. We just want you to apologize and tell the world the real story. I can be your fairy godmother, but I will not put up with this behavior. There she goes again. <sighs> I don't know what I did wrong. All I wanted was to be a princess. Well, everyone wants to be a princess. You could have been a true princess if you hadn't cheated your way through and just been truthful. <laughs> My life is ruined. I'll never have a good place in this kingdom again. <laughs> You're right about that. Y'all hate me. Yeah, you're also right about that too. But they aren't evil like you, so maybe they'll give you another chance. Do you think? Well, we can always go back and ask them. But they're just gonna yell at me. Well, of course they will, you wackadoodle. You have been doing some really horrible things, and you need to apologize for it. Then, then they'll forgive me, and everything will be like it was before? Mm, well, they might forgive you. And, you know, just because you ask for forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean that they have to or need to forgive you. If you only say sorry so that you don't feel bad or get yelled at, then it's honestly just worse than not saying anything at all. And all you can do is just live the rest of your life proving that you're not the same mean, self-centered girl who puts up a fake facade, you know, that you were before. And if you're ready for that, then we can go in and, you know, you can say your piece. Okay. I understand. And the story goes that they all talked for a really, really long time, trying to come up with what they could do. They called for a live interview with the fairy press for Cindy so she can finally tell her real story and apologize. Hello, everyone. My name is Cindy, and yes, this is my real accent. I would just like to say that I'm truly sorry for telling everyone lies about my life. My family is not evil. My cat isn't plotting against me. My fairy godmother is actually very talented. And the prince is not marrying me. Right? Yeah, still, no. Okay, just, just checking. Um, I wanted so much to be a princess, but I went about it the wrong way. 
You have to be kind, compassionate, honest, loyal, and so many other things. And to be honest, you don't have to be a princess to be a good person. I haven't been very princess-like or a good person, and I'm truly sorry. Please read my real story, available at Bibbidi Bobbidi's. Thank you. They haven't seen the last of me. There are princes all over this realm, and there are many salons. Hmm. Snow White sounds like a good alias. Ah, 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 ah. The, the end. end. For now. <laughs>